Okay, so the exercise we're going to talk about now is one of everybody's favorite, the squat pattern. Okay, so uh, the squat is very popular for good reason. It's total body movement. It uses some of the largest muscles in your body and can be a really great movement pattern to build overall strength and uh, muscular uh, power, endurance, just all sorts of things. It's a great movement. And just like any other movement pattern, we can start from easy to more complicated. So let's uh, just talk about the pattern first. So squat pattern, um, really one of the first key things we're gonna think about is our, our knees. What, what are our knees gonna be doing? Uh, I should talk about the feet first. Think about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Your toes can be slightly out if you would like. That's sometimes a little bit more comfortable, not required. They can be straightforward, whatever's most comfortable with you. So I'd say a medium distance apart, shoulder width, maybe a tiny bit outside shoulder width if you, if you like that. So as far as knees are concerned, uh, you should think in the squat pattern, get those, get those abs turned on, make sure my hips are right underneath me, no sway back, and then knees are gonna go forward. Knees are gonna push forward. Um, I have fairly tight calves, so that's about as far forward as they're gonna go. After that, it's up to me to sit down, all right? So my goal is gonna be thinking there's an arrow underneath my butt and the arrow is going straight towards the ground. You're gonna probably end up bending over a little bit unless you have really good mobility, you can stay straight up, but you're gonna sit down into a hole between your legs as your knees go forward. Okay, so that's the squat pattern, all right? So then we can start adding some variation to it, adding some weight. Let's, let, let's look at an easier version first. The easiest version of a squat is to sit down to something, a box, your couch, whatever, okay? So you can start in a seated position and everything remains the same, right? So your knees are gonna go forward, you're gonna sit down, and you're gonna try to control that descent. So pick something to sit down to, like a chair or a couch or a box uh, with a height that you're comfortable at. A higher height is okay to start with. It's also a good idea if this is a new movement pattern for you or a tougher one, have something next to you that you can use to help yourself up, that's fine. So you can start doing some repetitions here. You can put your hands on your knees to help you, yourself get up, but try not to lean over too much. Try and remain as upright as possible start standing up. And then eventually we can start adding some weight to this movement pattern. I can get my backpack, right? And I can hold it out in front of me and I can sit down, right? And I can stand up. I can also do that with the kettlebell. And really, if you're comfortable with a box or something to sit down to or a bench or a couch, you can use that always. You never have to go away from that if you don't want. To advance the movement pattern though, if you would like, um, coming away from the box or something to sit down to is definitely a way to increase the intensity of the movement pattern where you come away from it and then you're holding a kettlebell, your backpack, whatever, out in front of you and you're squatting down and you're standing up repeatedly. Uh, you don't have to use an implement here. If you would just like to do body weight versions of the squat, that's fine too. So choose the uh, the type of movement pattern that you're most comfortable with, and then work your way up from there on the squat.